Here we go. 3L plus 1 half equals 7 eighths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I don't know why I'm holding my keys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two different ways to solve this problem. So the first way is just using what we've been talking about so far, um, using our reverse order of operations and um, reverse order of operations and inverse operations. So the first way I'll do this is we'll just kind of do this here. 3L plus 1 half equals 7 eighths. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, by using your inverse operations um, is to, un to subtract 1 half on both sides of your equation. By using the subtraction property of equality, I'm going to subtract the 1 half on both sides. That is going to get me to 0. 3L plus 0 would just be 3L. Equals, now I need to calculate what is 7 eighths minus 1 half. Now, I'm not going to go too far into this, all right? But remember, when you're subtracting fractions, you've got to have them as the same denominator. So to get, so since my common denominator, my least common denominator is eight, I need to get my two to be an eight. So I'm gonna multiply by a four over four. So I'll have three L equals seven eighths minus four eighths. And the reason why I multiply by four over four is because I had to keep it as equivalent fractions. Well now, remember when you subtract um, or add fractions with the same denominator, you keep the denominator same, just subtract the numerator. So I have three L equals 3 eighths. Now what I need to do is divide by, um, now I need to undo multiplication of 3 by dividing by 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. So I divide by 3 and divide by 3. So now I have a fraction being divided by 3, which is like, whoa, this is starting to get pretty crazy, right? Well, remember, instead of uh, dividing number, we can always multiply by its reciprocal. I'll say it again. Instead of dividing by a number, you can always multiply by its reciprocal. Let me show you an example. If I said 7 divide, or let's just do an easy one. How about 8, you could say divided by 2, is the same thing as 8 being multiplied by 1 half. Right? They're the same answer. Go ahead and check it off. You don't believe me. But instead of dividing number, we can multiply by its reciprocal. So in this way, there's many ways to teach this. But for this example, I'm just going to multiply by the reciprocal because I think this is just easier way to look at the fractions. So therefore, any number times the reciprocal equals one, which we like, one times L would just be L. So therefore, I have L, L equals 3 eighths times 1 third. My threes are going to equal one, and so therefore I'm left with L equals a 1 eighth. So that's one way, and I don't really have too much time, but I'll go for this one quicker. Um, when I have 3L plus 1 half equals 7 eighths, whenever I'm doing my inverse operations or a two-step equation and I have two different fractions with two different denominators, I automatically know, whoa, 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 I need to get these, I need to get this over with. Like, I need to get these to be the same denominator, right? So automatically, let's just multiply, um, let's just multiply to get this uh, to 8 on the bottom. So what I'll do is I will multiply, um, Never mind, I don't want to do it that way. Never mind. We'll just leave it like this. That's kind of awkward now, but I don't want to show you that way. Just keep with this one. It's a good way. Maybe I'll do a special video where I'll show you that other way, but eh, let's just keep it like this.